Welcome to my new home. If you don't know what a bidet is, it's pretty much a butt cleaner. Welcome back to Japan guys. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm back in Japan so soon It's because Tokyo Auto Salon is this weekend. It's the craziest car show I've ever been to It's also an excuse to come back to Japan and just drive around the Ferrari. I just love being here in Japan I love the culture. I love the people the food. Everything is amazing Only in Japan will you find vending machines anywhere in the neighborhood You can literally grab a coffee or a milk tea at any time and even right over here, there's another one with more options. All the stuff that's labeled in blue are cold drinks and anything that's labeled in red are the hot drinks. However, the last time I was in Japan, I stayed at a hotel and just finding parking for the Ferrari was an absolute mess. We probably spent anywhere from 40 to $80 USD every single day. So this time I wanted to switch it up. As you guys can tell, the neighborhoods are really small. So parking here in Japan, insanely hard sometimes it takes 30 minutes it could take up to an hour and let me just let me find an example to show you guys perfect look right in the distance you can see that's a parking space for a 350z finding the perfect airbnb was a challenge but considering that i got a whole house to myself parking for the ferrari and it was actually cheaper than the hotel stay in shinjuku and it gives me a little excuse to give you guys a little house tour it's on my list of to do's actually to maybe even own a home here in Japan one day. I love it here in Japan, and I actually bought a Ferrari, and it's staying here for the next year or so as well. If you guys are fans of the channel, maybe that's something that will happen in the future. But for now, let's just enjoy our little travels to Japan. Look how tight the spaces are here. Driving the Ferrari around here is no joke. Here it is. How lucky am I to find a spot big enough to park this thing and that is the house well guys i hope you guys are ready let me take you guys in for the house tour
Welcome to my new home for the next few days, guys. This area right here is called the Genkan. And this is where you swap your shoes for some house slippers. Because we're Asian and we don't wear our shoes in the house. Oh, that's such a nice view. Well guys, welcome to my home for the next few days. This is quite a huge home and there's so many doors. Where do we start? You know what? We're going this way. Right in here is just a very tiny living room. This is where I've just been working on my video. I'm currently editing this vlog right now. And check this out. Everything in this house is so weird. And it's not only this Airbnb, but every single Japanese Airbnb that I've been in, nothing makes sense. It's pretty cool that there's a horse though. Because right outside there is a Ferrari. Oh, look, the horse has a protruding belly button. <laughs> this is a much more Western style Japanese home. The traditional Japanese homes are the scariest. And I already think that this style home is freaky. But right this way, this is the dining room. And right over here are my favorite snacks that I've come across in Japan. So if you guys happen to stumble across a 7-Eleven or a Family Mart, be sure to try these out. This is a sugar-free chocolate. I can't believe that this was amazing chocolate potato chips. There's barely anything in this bag, but this is a must. This is at 7-Eleven. And if you guys watch the vlogs, you guys know what these are. These are onigiri, little rice balls. This one has tuna and mayo. Wow, this is pork sausage, garlic, and mayo. But if you guys see this at 7-Eleven, grab it. Don't ask any questions, just try it out. These are okay. But the gummies in Japan, I'm gonna show you guys, are actually really cool. These are actually stress gummies. Not only are they delicious, but there's a scale for how stress relieving they are. This is a two, but this one right here is a five. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but it works for me. Try these out. This is grape. This is also grape. And I don't know how to say that, so I'm not gonna say it. Now let me take you guys into the kitchen. This may not look big at all, but for a Japanese home, this house is actually massive. If you guys have ever been to Japan and stayed maybe at a friend's house, there's literally barely any space to walk. The kitchen, dining room, and living room are usually all together. So whoever owns this home, I would like to say is pretty well off. Here in Japan, everything is so minimal and they actually have to save a lot of space. At home, we have a huge oven that takes up literally this whole area. Check this out. That's all the Japanese gets. <laughs> How tiny is this? I feel so bad for them. But check out this drying rack. Hot wind cyclone. You can actually turn this on and dry your plates and utensils so much faster. Right over here, we got a rice cooker because obviously we're Asian. Every Asian home has one of these. Now here's the weirdest part of this house. You ready? As you guys know, we're in the kitchen. And right in here is the shower. This is the perfect home for me because when you have guests over and they're having a snack, I can be showering, open this door, and I can ask my guests, would you guys like to have the full course meal now or later. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Actually, I'm not kidding. I used to run around naked in my vlogs all the time. My friends all know. I would literally pop this thing open and run out butt naked while my friends are having dinner. Okay, well, now let me show you guys around the entire bath area. If it isn't obvious, enough towels and dirty laundry goes here. But now let me show you guys what's weird and interesting about Japan. There's actually two spots that you can shower. You can stand right here. You could sit down on that little stool or you can take a bath. And let me show you guys how it works.
little shower scene. Let me show you guys how this works. So if you lift up here, that turns on. And if you pull down here, this one turns on. Also forgot, for the water to be warm, you actually have to utilize this. You press this right here, and that's all I know to do. I don't know what that button does, and I don't know what that button does. So if anybody knows though, let me know. I also do know though, that they do use this room to dry clothes as well. See right here, this is where you would put a bar across and you would hang all your clothes, and you can dry them. I'm sure you guys are wondering what's behind all these doors. It's pretty much just storage space. Oh, I'm literally just getting chills walking around. I hate scary movies and I'm deathly afraid of ghosts. I'll do it for you. Let's open all these doors. Mm, more storage. And more storage. And Airbnb stuff. However, right in here is a traditional Japanese bathroom or toilet. Every single toilet in Japan is a bidet. Maybe some of you guys don't know what a bidet is, but if you don't, let me show you. I can't believe I'm gonna use this. If you don't know what a bidet is, it's pretty much a butt cleaner. You know what? We might as well use it correctly. Do you wipe first and then press the button? Or do you not wipe at all? I honestly don't know. Send it. Oh, oh it's so warm. This is at the lowest setting. Okay, I can't go any higher than that. This is kind of nice. Let's see what this button does. Ooh! It moves it backwards. It's on my butt crack right now. Okay, that moves it forward. Too far, that's my balls. And let's see what this does. That's the fan. Now I know what to do. You don't wipe. You turn the fan on and it does the rest. This is kind of nice. Every Japanese home has one of these. These are the three settings. This is pressure. This moves it forwards and backwards. Well guys, that was my bidet experience. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This door is locked. Probably locked for a good reason. I'm not even gonna question it. Now let me take you guys upstairs. All right, so earlier I mentioned that the paintings in the Airbnb homes make no sense. Let me show you guys. Tell me how scary that is. I'm literally getting chills right now. When I first came into the home and all the lights were off and I saw this painting, I literally freaked out. This one kind of makes sense. There's literally a sink in the middle of all the rooms. Right in here. We have another toire. But let me show you guys what is different about this one. This is a bidet as well. But once you're done using this, the sink turns on. How weird, but convenient. But look, let's say I finish washing my hands. It still runs for a little while, but it makes a lot of sense. If it has to fill this up anyways, you might as well be able to wash your hands. Some people might find it gross. I find it very convenient. But look, it's still going. And this is supposed to be for trash. Look how big my hand is compared to this. <laughs> now are you guys ready for the rooms? Oh, never mind. I'm so glad it's so bright in here. These beds absolutely suck to sleep on. And they're literally the same bed in every room. Let's see what's in here. More storage. 
Oh, that's so scary. Yep, we're closing this one. Closet space. Oh, that's actually pretty roomy. I feel like this is a full-size room in certain Japanese homes, to be honest. These are two rooms in one. This, however, has got to be my favorite part about this entire house, is the parking for the Ferrari. Well guys, that is it for the house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, let's go have some fun in Japan. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Dustin. Finally, we finally freaking met up in Japan. Yeah. After all the comments. What do you think about the Ferrari? Dude, I am so damn proud of you. That is so sick. Thanks, bro. I'm proud of you too. Look, look at that beautiful thing over there. Sick. All right, all the cars are rolling through, and it just happens to be all the GTRs. How are the cars? Four GTRs in a row. It's been crazy. <laughs> one day I'll have one. Trix, where are we? Tokyo Orasan. Yes, back after three or is it four years? A long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, first one since COVID. Yep. Some advice if you're going to Tokyo Auto Salon, do not drive. It took us an hour and a half, almost two hours to find parking. And we ended up parking at a train station one stop away, but we finally made it. This is one of how many halls? Three. Oh, this is massive.
Uh, out of all the people here, look who I run into. My HKS umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm running into so many people here, it's insane. I know, right? Me too. Because all the Americans aren't wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> Sumi Masen! I'm a huge fan. Oh, dude! <laughs> dude, just come with us already, man. Let's go. You'll never guess where we're at now. We're at a Honda S2000 meet. We're underground. Guys, I know I keep saying I love Japan, but I hope you guys know why. Albo's car. I'm sure some of you guys follow him on YouTube. I miss you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Go on. <laughs> that was a good reaction, huh? I love it. Love it. <laughs> We're back home in America, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Japan trip as much as I did. I will be back soon. I plan on doing a lot of drifting. I'll be there for Spring Matsuri and any chance I can, I will be there. I'm probably going to be there five times plus this year. But tomorrow, I need to go hunting for a new truck. I plan on doing a lot of drifting this year, and I need something to tow my drift car. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. And also, one more thing. I'm going to be on a TV show, and I'm going to be racing the R34 against a supercar. It's always been a dream of mine to be on a TV show, and I got hit up. So, something to look forward to. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs. I've just been having so much fun. If you guys have, go down and support us by subscribing. I appreciate all you guys for commenting and liking the videos. It really helps us out so much. If you guys have any other YouTubers as well, continue liking and commenting. It really does so much for us. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.